Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started with your love reading. First off, I did have a card fall on the floor as I was starting this video, and it landed face up, and I'm going to keep it. It says the sun. So uh, the sun is just feeling vibrant. It's feeling uh, nourished. It's feeling energetic. Uh, it's all about new beginnings and excitement, and I feel like wonderful way to start off the reading is with the sun. I'm loving this. For some of you, you could be getting out into the sun and we've got woman holding a heart. There it is. And the center of the reading, we've got rest and rejuvenate. So this is about going out into nature, getting out into the sun for those of you guys in the Northern hemisphere where it is becoming spring and uh, getting ready to go into summer in the next few weeks. And I feel like this um, Mercury retrograde has had given us a real opportunity to go within and really tap into that heart center and what makes us tick, what makes us happy, um, and only doing those things, only putting in the energy to those things. We have the number one here with the sun, and here we have the number 19, and 19 adds to a 10, 10 it breaks down into a one. So again, we get back, you needed to take this step back and really uh, work on self-care, whether that's emotional, whether that's, you know, just whatever. Everybody's got their thing that they've been doing. I do feel like we really needed to take this time out to really kind of uh, go within and ask ourselves what means the most to us, what really feeds our heart and soul. I like this. All right. So spirit, please show me. All right. What did we get? Cut your cords. Cut your cords. And I feel too, like cut the cords of anything that doesn't bring in happiness into your life. It's time to cut those cords. She's got the sword here and I get the eight of cups energy of like walking away from anything that doesn't bring you the ultimate happiness. And I feel like the sun too illuminates all of those things. And that's why we get the, you know, this opportunity for Mercury to go retrograde so that we can go back over things that maybe just doesn't feed our soul anymore. And it doesn't bring out, you know, they're not loving situations. So it's really asking us to go ahead and, and cut those cords, cut away anything that doesn't serve a purpose that's keeping you from your, your, your ultimate uh, desires is what I get. Spirit, please show me what messages, what guidance do we have? Call on your angels. Anybody that it is that you are having a tough time letting go of, call on your angels. And I feel like they will give you the strength that you need to be able to continue on this journey. And whatever it is that you're doing it, doing it out of love as well. You know, but I, it's like, I love you, but I love myself even more, you know. Um, and then we've got crystals. So maybe for some of you, you know, you're, you, you're doing crystal healings or you're working with crystals. You could be dealing with, uh, a psychic. Okay. When I look at the woman holding a heart, she's somebody who is very psychic. Um, so I do feel like, you know, if maybe you need to reach out and get a reading bottom of the deck, the flow of abundance. I love this card for us. It's saying like things are going to start spiraling out of control. And when we cut the cords to things, Things that no longer serve a purpose, it's like all of a sudden the abundance can just start, you know, moving towards us and, and flowing towards us. So I do feel like for some of you, you are, if you're not working with crystals, I do feel like maybe, you know, you don't always have to go out and purchase the crystal. You know, it's like just setting the intention. You can use it as a screensaver on your phone, right? Uh, I am getting clear quartz crystal for some of you. Um, I'm also getting citrine and I'm getting like, I, I got yellow diamond so maybe someone here is getting a yellow diamond. Um, and I'm also getting like sapphire, something with sapphire, amethyst, rubies. Um, I heard yellow jasper, okay, emerald. I'm getting emerald with her dress. So working with crystals and working with the intentions of those crystals. Also, someone here is getting a fish. A fish is important to somebody. Um, I know that's going to be very random, but again, we are on my channel and everything is kind of random anyway. So <laughs> let's keep going. But this is about, you know, calling on your angels and asking them to help you, you know, with this situation. Whatever, whatever the cutting the cords is, it's about some never ending story, something that just continues 
continues to go and it's just enough is enough and you're just done and you've learned the lesson. And again, there goes back to that eight of cups energy that I was talking about, about the walking away. And now we have the number 37, which is also a 10. We've got the number 19, which is also a 10. And this is the end of those cycles, not letting them come in and distract us anymore. So call on your angels to help, you know, heal this situation. And then, wow, we've got the treasure island, number nine. And get this, we've got the yang energy again, another number one. So we've got two tens and now two number ones. All right. So ones, again, go back to new beginnings, uh, moving forward. I feel like for some of you, you guys are some type of crystal healers. And look at this. We've got take a nap and we've got rest and rejuvenate. So I do feel like for some of you, you just need to take a step back. It's time for you to get some more rest. For some of you, you could be re feeling a little bit more tired. Um, even maybe even during the daytime when the sun is out, it's like you just kind of, you know, your battery is almost low is what I'm getting. I'm seeing like a battery and it's like blinking right now. So I feel like when you're sleeping, you're not blocking the flow of abundance that's trying to come in for you. And I feel like it's like when you're at that level of relaxation is when your angels can come in and help you cut those energetic cords between people, places, and things that just don't serve a purpose. Um, and I feel like, you know, when we're sleeping, we're not, we're not, um, we're not, yeah, blocking our blessings, you know? Uh, I feel like for a lot of you, before you go to sleep, it's like set your intentions and ask your guides and angels to come in and help you cut whatever cords need to be cut, okay? And then they can do that in the energetic realm while you're asleep and not working at cross purposes by overthinking or overanalyzing it. Um, with the treasure island here, they're telling me to read this card out loud. So I'm going to go ahead and read you the meaning of this card because there's a message in here that you need to hear. And it says the law of attraction, bringing dreams into fruition. That's why they're talking about it. Okay. The results of positive thinking make manifest abundance appearing as if from nowhere, financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. And we do have that flow of abundance and there they are just flowing right in. So, um, it says you worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance. And suddenly in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map of buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot because of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way. Now, as you enter this truly prosperous phase where, all the long hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally in all aspects of your life at this time you have good fortune don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic so when you have the opportunity to help other people as long as it's within your means it is good time for you to uh, reach out and ask other people as well whether that's for an opinion or their heart felt, you know, advice and, you know, something that doesn't come from a place of ego, but, you know, it's because they have learned the lesson. So making sure that you reach out to other people to help you. Um, and I feel like that's like the hidden gem right there. It's like, you're going to have some type of a conversation with somebody and they're going to be able to put something into perspective for you. That's going to help you along your journey. Um, you know, and I see the Fox here. It's like, okay, you know, maybe for some of you, you've had like a fox in your midst and fox can foxes can be tricksters that's like mercury being retrograde right mercury retrograde is mercury mercury becomes the trickster like you can only control what comes out of your mouth you can't control what other people hear and that's where miscommunications through text messages emails phone calls you know all of those things can be misconstrued or even just conversations between two people those can be misconstrued and then uh when mercury goes direct it can actually bring out what they were not able to um, 
uh, understand, right? So I do feel like for a lot of you, you know, you are coming into a hidden gem. Now, you know, as you release the past and you feel like for some of you, maybe you just felt like you were spinning your wheels with something that you were trying to get off the ground. But again, simultane simultaneously while you were with these two tens here, while you were closing out old cycles, simultaneously new doors were trying to, you know, crack open for you. And I feel like now that Mercury's direct, you're going to get, you're going to move forward in a lot of these things. But be careful of that trickster, whether that trickster is you and your mind or that trickster is somebody around you that's trying to create something. But I am seeing with the fox asleep, it's like, I feel like it's laying dormant right now, um, which is probably good so that this turtle can have safe passage, right, with the treasure, Yang is all about these new opportunities. Now, for some of you, this could be a relationship because we do have the sun here, which is the masculine energy, and we have the yang here. So this is either you stepping into the masculine energy and going out and taking charge after you've allowed new things to flow in. Now it's going to be time for you to take charge of these things and actually move forward with them. For some of you, this is about a new masculine energy coming in. Um, and this person is like, it, it, it's, it, it's intense. The relationship, it, the intensity, the love, all of that is, is protected with these angels. And I feel like that very strongly, whatever relationships you are coming into, there's going to be with this number 44 here, fours are structure, stability, foundation, and family. This is safety and security. Um, but I feel like with the 44, like the four can be kind of boring and stagnant, but it's like, it's almost like a really good, boring and stagnant. So try not to create any chaos towards the past, cut the cords with any of the, the traumas and the, and, and the, the trickiness of the past is what I get. Stop telling yourself the same story. It's like that heart is blocked off in that glass cage, but she's like wearing her heart on her sleeve. So be careful not to hide this because of this, this old story, cut the cords, like let it go. It doesn't have to affect you anymore. Hmm. All right, spirit. What did we get? Yeah, holy love. I'm going to read that card. We got holy love here. I feel like, you know, the angels are really at play right now with this message. Angels of love are gathering around you in awe and celebration, for you are finally willing to remember how loving and lovable you are. And heaven is guiding you to see that you deserve loving relationships, loving experiences, and loving acceptance from the world around you. This card marks a milestone in your own self-awareness. It acknowledges the steps that you have had excuse me, it acknowledges the steps that you have taken to claim your worth and to recognize that you deserve to be loved and respected and to feel good. It also acknowledges a new level of spiritual openness, which draws even more divine love from your angels and the creator. You are loved beyond your wildest dreams by the power and the presence that created you. And through receiving and acknowledging that love, you will create even more loving experiences into your life. She is all about love. That is her job is to love and be loved and, and wear her heart on her sleeve. That doesn't mean ball it up and, and hide it. Right. This means like, I, I'm telling you, like, I just feel this divine protection and I feel like where we're all headed is towards more love and more relationships that are understanding of our frequency and that are matching our frequency. But we have to, again, simultaneously as we cut out the old, and that's why they interlink. It's like we have the, the, the tens go here and then the ones go here from past to present, from past to present. Well, from the now into the past, excuse me, with the I hope you guys understand what I'm saying with the cutting the cords and taking a nap, right? So it still affects us now because we are, we are consciously allowing it to affect us. But as we release that, 
the abundance is ever flowing. Some of you are studying to, like maybe you're take, getting ready to take or are taking, I feel like it's in the future to create more abundance. For some of you, it's like Reiki. You could be taking Reiki classes or need to attend some type of a Reiki certification course. And that's only going to be for a small few of you. For others of you, maybe you need to go in and do Reiki or you need to do some type of crystal therapy or whatever. And I feel like there's a woman here, could be a man who's like in his in his feminine energy, but I do definitely get um, someone here who is uh, certified that can actually help you uh, energetically clear whatever is going on. And for a lot of you, it's in that heart center because we do have the, the lighting on her heart right there. Right. And the green is the green heart chakra. So for some of you, I do feel like you need to unblock with the queen of cups here, a uh, woman holding a heart and the sun is Leo and Leo is all about the heart. I feel like for a lot of you, it's like really recognizing that you have a heart of gold you have a heart of gold, and that's what I see here with the sun and the treasure. It's like you are a treasure, and anybody who is going to have you is going to see you as that treasure, and they're going to want to take action towards you, and this is a love that is, is so much bigger than anything that you have ever experienced, and I don't feel like this is just romantic. I feel like this is in like every area of your life. Let's go ahead and look at some love card spirit. Okay, wow, there it is. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. For some of you, you could be getting engaged. Okay, and here we go. That one landed on the floor face down. I'm not going to take that. Wow, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. And we've got true love. It says this is the romance of a lifetime. And that card did decide it still wanted to come out. And we've got unrequited love. There's not a lo enough uh, attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's like your love life is getting ready to take off in these uh, most amazing directions. But you have to let go of anything that is not of, you know, the highest, uh, frequency. And that's what this cutting cords and this never ending story, like you, there's no love loss anymore. It's over. Like it, it needs to be put to bed is what I get with the rest and rejuvenation and the time for a nap. It's time to get put to bed. It's time to have those hard conversations with ourselves and with our guides and angels. And it could, because anything that is meant for you will never pass you by because your love life is going to this beautiful, uh, progression. Now it's like the evolution because you're, and I, again, we go back to that eight of cups walking away it doesn't mean that you don't there's that you don't love these individuals because if you think about the original writer weight um let me pull that card real quick it's like you know they stacked the cups up nice and neat they didn't knock them down and they decided i want to go out on search for my two of cups i want that happily ever after an eight plus two let me find the two of cups. Watch. I think it's in the last batch that I just had. Hopefully not. You know, we want to get to the 10 of cups, the ultimate wish fulfillment. And we have to be willing to walk away from anything that is not of that frequency. But again, that doesn't mean that you don't love, you know, these people, but sometimes we just have to love them from afar. And, you know, because they're not bringing in, they're not uh, any type of reciprocity when it comes to love. And if they're not willing to, you know, even allow you to be yourself, I'm not seeing that card. What the heck? Um, but anyway, with that said, we've got the eight of cups here. See how the cups are stacked up nice and neat. Okay. They're being eclipsed out and what they're going towards is the two of cups, which is the two people who see eye to eye and it's bringing them to that ultimate wish fulfillment, the, you know, fortune after difficulty, everything that they have experienced has brought them to this moment. Okay. Now, whether that is, you know, a new relationship, whether that's a new, you know, friendships that are developing, all of those things. It's like wanting to only go towards the people, places, and things that you see eye to eye with. It doesn't mean that you don't have differences. It doesn't mean that you don't have differences. 
differences. It just means that you know how to connect on a completely different level. And anything that is not of that level and that frequency isn't going to work out. And we have to be willing to go on that journey, that self-discovery to find those missing pieces so that we can come to this. Beautiful message here today, you guys. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. Also, check me out on Facebook and Instagram, and I will talk with you again soon. Take care.